Yo, what's going on creeps? How you guys doing? I'm back and I'm at one of my favorite historical places here in Portland today. I'm back at Riverview Cemetery here in Southwest Portland. And if you guys can see the cemetery is absolutely beautiful. Um, it's early in the morning here and it's gonna be a hot one. So they got the sprinklers running. We got some maintenance going on this morning. Um, they keep this place beautiful, beautiful and that is Riverview Cemetery. This place is super historical, has so many, um, so much history to it, so many awesome people that have paved the way for Portland, uh, Oregon, and just, I just, I'm, I'm just I'm blown out of the water by so, how much history this place has. Um, and if you guys haven't watched some of my other vlogs um, from Riverview, please go back. Um, there's Henry Weinhard, who was a, a famous brewer here, who's buried here. Uh, one of the very first grave robberies in Oregon. Um, Carl William Mays, who was a pitcher for the M MLB that actually killed a gentleman. So go back, check those out. Um, I always enjoy coming up here. It's a beautiful cemetery and it just has so much, so much history. Um, so I'm bringing you guys back here today to talk to you and tell you um, a little bit about a gentleman that I thought was just just super amazing. I mean, everybody, all of his colleagues, all of his coaches, everybody that he played for um, in his in his college career and his football career in the NFL, uh, just a standout dude, tremendous, known for just being super aggressive. Um, he even said himself he had a, was known to have kind of a short fuse, uh, but that's what made him so intense and um, just an all around good guy. And the gentleman that I'm talking to you guys about is Lyle Elzado. And Lyle Alzado was a professional football player for about three different teams um, in his career. He played for the Cleveland Browns and the Raiders. I do know that. Um, and he developed a, st uh, a basically a style play that was super aggressive and um, everybody on the field knew that when it was his time to defend and stuff that he would take care of business. So he's actually buried here in Portland. Um, so I wanted to check out, take you guys up here and tell you guys a little bit about uh, what he accomplished in his lifetime. Um, the movies and the shows that he was involved with. Um, just a standout dude. I've watched videos on YouTube of him. Um, and later on in his life, he actually developed a brain tumor, um, which he thought was caused by his extended use of steroids throughout the years. Um, which he was open about and realized that he had made some bad choices. Um, but his, his further mission was to educate people on brain tumors and drug use, steroid use, uh, growth hormones. Um, and it kind of paved the way for what the NFL does today with uh, testing, well actually all sports. So it's unfortunate that he lost his life, but I really believe that um, he wanted no one else to die from this disease or this instance, so he wanted to inform people on um, on it and just make people aware. So I'm also going to talk to you guys about what he accomplished, and we're going to go over here and take a look actually at his headstone, um, which just lies right over here. So let's jump over here. I'm going to grab the camera real quick, and we're going to talk to you guys more about Lyle and what he accomplished and then I'll let you guys see his headstone um, so let's check it out so Lyle played most of his M uh, and NBA most, most of his NFL career for the Denver Broncos from 1971 to 1978 um, he also played for the Cleveland Browns from 79 to 81 and finished his career actually um, in 1985, um, which he ran three years solid for the Raiders and pretty much gained uh, most of his recognition for you know, his style of play and, and basically how he didn't take any grief from any other players. Um, so let's go over here right quick and we're gonna check out his headstone. Um, you know, this guy was just such a tremendous player. Not only did he win a Super Bowl championship, um, he won two AFC championships in 1977 and in 1983, two Pro Bowl awards. He was a three-time All-Pro 
from 1977 all the way to 82. And so here lies Mr. Lyle Martin Elzado. Um, he was buried here in 1992 in Portland, Oregon. Um, so yeah, definitely a, a grateful for him to be buried here in such a historical place. And I just find it so cool. Um, he played for 15 seasons and in his time in the NFL had over 112 sacks. So, I mean, the guy was just a beast. Um, he was six foot three, pushing 300 pounds. And at one point in his life, he was known that he could lift up to 500 pounds of dead weight. So, regardless of whatever the stipulations was with, you know, maybe his drug use, the guy was just an overall, just a great NFL player. Um, it was pretty cool too because in 1985 he actually decided to appear in a couple drug campaigns uh, founded by the Reagan administration. Um, so I remember Nancy Reagan had her, you know, just say no campaign. Um, he was actually in a 1988 episode of Small Wonder. Um, he played in the Super Mario Brothers show in 1989. I don't know if you guys remember that, but it was an actual, like, uh, you know, characters of Super Mario Brothers real life um, so he played a character in that and then later on he appeared um, geez he oh at one point he actually boxed Muhammad Ali um, I believe it was for a charity event um, but he he sized up pretty well but obviously Muhammad Ali you know <laughs> it speaks for himself um, and he was one of the convicts in the movie called Hang Fire and he also appeared in an episode of MacGyver. So this guy did a lot for the NFL and a lot um, of due diligence when it came to looking into his disease and, and giving people the heads up on steroid use and drug use. Um, so yeah, this guy was just a true, true uh, beast. And um, I just wanted to come up here and pay homage. Now, he was buried up here, obviously, it says May 14th, 1992. He was born in Brooklyn, New York, um, April 3rd, 1949. And so the guy was just a solid dude. I mean, obviously, he had the kind of New York East Coast style um, and was finally laid to rest here in, in Portland. I believe he later on uh, moved here with his, with his wife, um, hence the the gravestone marking for my beloved husband so I'm gonna kind of give it a little respectful clean off here and just let you guys know thank you so much for coming up here with me today and I love these kind of things you know it's unfortunate that this guy lost his life at such an early age um, and probably could have continued to do a lot more for the NFL and informing people on you know the different effects of uh, drug use, steroid use, um, you know, I know the NFL is really big now on protecting the players' heads, so the guy changed the, the way the NFL and, and all sports, um, you know, work with their, their players now to make sure that everybody's uh, abiding by the rules. In fact, I just read a thing about Barry Bonds, uh, who was a former N MLB player, um, for years has been trying to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and is finally maybe getting some recognition, um, but he was known to use like performance enhancement um, drugs or whatever. So anyways, I wanted to come up here and take you guys to this, the grave of Lyle. Um, like I said, it was really unfortunate how he died, but there was a quote um, that he told an ESPN reporter is that he wanted to make sure that no one else suffered with the disease um, that he had to go through. Um, so he was informing people um, early on when he knew that he had it. Um, now there was some also weird stipulations later on um, about how a lot of people thought he had may have contracted uh, like a disease or something else, but a lot of it I feel like is just hogwash because there's no actual strong backing, um, doctors, reports, coroners, anything like that um, saying that. So obviously an all around good guy. If you guys wanna pull up, um, his name on YouTube. There's some really cool interviews that he did um, with ESPN and a lot of different sports networks on his battles and his triumphs. But the guy was just an amazing football player. So 
I had to come up here and pay homage to him and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I do. So one more time from the grave of Lyle Martin El Elzado. This is Creeper and I'm out for now. I love you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button and you can do me one better and hit that little bell icon as well. Um, I'm excited for the football season to start. So with all due respect to El Zod Mr. Elzado, may you rest in peace and pay our homage by watching some football this season and enjoying the fall. It's, it's rearing its head on us. I know the preseason's already going, so. Hey, if you guys feel like you want to maybe help donate to this vlog or my previous videos, there's a link in the description box to my PayPal account and uh, you can throw me a couple bucks for a coffee or you know maybe a ticket to a football game no <laughs> anyways i love you guys creeper out for now and uh, i'll catch up with you guys soon okay love you peace